Well, good morning everybody. My name is Dr. J.D. Swanson and welcome to 15 Minutes of Thought. Today is a really quick, easy lesson thinking about kicking and the way that we can apply it to kata in a very simple way to maximize the idea of hip flow and hip dynamic. So without further ado, let's get started. Us. Very good. So from here, what we're going to do, we're going to apply it to hand shodan and just think about the three major turns or four major turns. First one is the 90 degrees to here. Second one is that full 180, right? Third one from here, dropping round. And then of course the fourth, the big turn to the kick. So what I want you to do is just practicing, you can practice the kata whichever way you want, um, but just warming up just with the kata. So feeling from here, just nice and relaxed, dropping down. One. So thinking about your hip, center body. Feel a drive through of the step. Good. Then from here, the turn. Feel the elbow and hip connected. Feel the hip come up, down. Feel the pull through, push. Right, mirrors here, don't want to break those. Then from here, feel the push, pull of the squeeze. Squeeze, pull. Then from here, coming up. Then from here, the other two. Good, then from here, feel the turn of your body. Simply rotate and push, quick turn. Good, then step and punch, then turn, then step and punch, then turn, then your three steps. One, two, three, then quick turn, then quick turn, then turn then turn, right? Just using that, just use the cutter to warm up. Again, there what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about the way in which my hips drive down into the technique. So what you wanna do, warm up with that, go through a couple of rounds of hand shot up, emphasize the turns, but then as you go, think about how your body center is transitioning through each motion, then come back to me. Excellent, so you've warmed up. Now what I want you to do is from here, do it, do hand shot on loose and sloppy. So this is gonna look horrible, but that's okay. Have the feeling that your kata doesn't stop. So simply from here, feel the transition in your hip, feel the turn and feel the boom. Feel the first two movements, just <laughs> connect and go. On the turn, feel a Feel that connect and go kind of action. So here, here, pull. Feel that sort of action as you move. So what happens, you're making the cutter. Now feel, feel more dynamic. Feel your body center drop, feel that momentum continue. Feel the turn, feel this momentum, feel it. Then go, then here, round, pull, then feel one, two, three, that motion. When you come to this rotation, this big spin, feel it simply here, feel it continue on. Have that flavor to your technique. And so with that, give that a go. Feel that sort of sloppiness, boom, bada, boom, continues. Boom, 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 that flavor. So give that a go really quickly and then come back to me. Excellent, so from here, the primary kicks we're going to use is Maigiri, Mawashigiri, and Yokogiri as you move. So again, thinking about the way, and what we're going to do here is simply re replace the hands completely. Lots of my senior instructors will often do versions of hand shodan, where you make geram like yakusuki, then you switch, right, and so forth, or you make geram rai and add a maigiri after every technique. I want to change it completely. What I want you to do to help improve the feeling of this flow of the hip, I want you to just use kicks. So as you go from here, feel this drop into position and feel as the hip connects, feel the throw of the kick. So it should be this nice natural action. Here, kick. This nice natural action of just rolling and making it. Then as soon as it hits, Make my giddy again. So have this nice flow. Uh, one, right? That feeling. This nice natural action. One, one, boom, place, kick. That feeling. One, 
One, two, up, three. So feel, then action through. Give that a go for the first motion, give that a try, then come back. Excellent. Now from here, for the second action, try rolling around this time, keep it together, keep it tight, and feel the action of the hip make the kick. So here, roll and kick. Don't make it discontinuous. Rather, just here, turn, kick. Then, pull back, and then feel that expansion in. Right, so from here, feel continuous action. Round, make the kick. Then, as you come back, allow your body to absorb back, kick, and then use that action to continue through. So here, feel this expansion back of your center, make the mighty you want, then feel the action going through. Almost like um, in the movie 100, I am Sparta, right? Have that feeling of this expansion and kick and then step and hit this feeling. So again, feel the body weight, big turn, boom, then expand and through. So from here, feeling like turn, big expansion, one, two, then three. Have that action, have that feeling. Give that a go, then come back to me. Excellent. So from here, we've just done that kick. Now from here, feeling the idea this time of coming towards you, simply pull in, either kyage, or if you want to expand through, make it kikomi. So from here, either pull in, hai, kyage, or kikomi, land. Your flavor. So here, um, then feel action and just step. This is the true I am Sparta kind of feeling of just stepping in with the three kicks. Bang, keep going, keep going. That feeling, just bang, bang, bang. Or if you want, of course, you can add in the double front kick. Your choice for that. But it's that feeling of using your body momentum to continue through. Key things, feel, contract, then expand in the direction you want. For that first one, come down, use the hip to make the maigiri, then you can do the double jumping kick, whatever, whichever way you want to float it. So, give that a go, then come back. Excellent. So now, once you're through that, we're in this position. Use this big turn. So this is a full 270 degree turn. What I want you to do is as you move, feel from here, this full and complete turn. And this time we're actually gonna step forward into the kick. So feel this time, full mawashigiri. So here, once again, all I'm doing is coming around, make the zenkuts, let the hip continue, and then make the turn and kick, make, this, make the, the turn from a better angle for you, here, in, turn, keep that momentum going tight for the wall. Feel here, make the turn, continue, continue. Then from here, expand and make it, instead of mighty, make it mwashigi, then kick, right? This kind of flavor. So what we've got here is you've got the idea of being able to turn, big mwashi, maigiri, then from here, make a big turn, mwashi giri, maigiri again. Just within that flow of the techniques that you're doing. Then from here, of course, you will continue through the rest of the kata as normal. So, give that section a go, give the big turn kick, big turn kick, give that a go again, paying attention to the flow of the hip. Don't turn, stop, and then make the kick. The idea of this is to better connect your hip rotation or the torque that you're developing, that you're building, up to turn and boom, make that kick that you want. Give that a go. 
Excellent. So now that you've gone through that, you can start to piece the whole thing together. I encourage you not to go hammers and tongs at this. Just take it slow, piece by piece, step by step, as you build this particular set of techniques up. It's about the flow of the hip, not how hard you can do the technique. Use your body weight and use the torque that you develop through the turns to execute the kicks. So from here, you can imagine, just use this nice natural action. Boom, kick, pull, push. From here, use turn, kick, expand, expand. Expand, expand, then continue through, right? From here, use that full turn, boom, then the next kick. Then round, wash your giddy again, then the next kick, right? Include those actions. And it's about feeling that turn and kick, turn and kick, turn and kick. The feeling that your body center continues through. Because once you've got that in your legs, are obviously much closer to your hips than your arms. Once you've got that, you want to then be able to transfer that same action of your hip down into your body, down into your center, this feeling to allow the next technique to go. That's the next step. So with that, I hope you all have an awesome day and we'll talk again soon. Hey, us. Take care everybody.